player at UNI, two-time MVC Coach of the Year last year and also in 2019. Roman 10. Found your guy, sneaking, lurk. Where he played, you look at Juba Davis at North Carolina, you know, the ability to go back where you play, there's nothing better. Woo! On the alley-oop, Shanquan Hemphill throw. Especially with Brody in the ball game, that's the opportunity for the Coyotes to help inch back into this one. Use Camateros in those pick-and-pop situations, force Brody to defend. Wilkins, two in a row from behind. Rebounds, get on the floor for loose balls. Juwan Gary is that type of player. He was a key reserve on that NCAA Sweet 16 team a year ago. Hemp Hill goes to the right hand and gets the roll. Got some on them spending all day on their feet, walking around the park with the idea that you still got to play three ball games in four days. Yeah, most of them have told us that this is a business trip. Penn gets it to go. Five. Drake down by nine with the basketball. They had some success with Darnell Brody on the post. I'm wondering why they haven't went back to him yet. That's a better shot. Again, yeah. programs that have each earned at-large bids to the NCAA tournament in recent years. They are both heading into the season, certainly in the mix. Roman 10 gets the friendly roll. Roman dribble. Forget Mo Cheeks. How about Marquis Haynes? <laughs> Curly I Neal. I saw the look on your face. <laughs> How about that? Okay, he's won me over. I, I, I think part of what's unique about him, he's only six foot, but he's not a, a not a big time scorer. He's a ball mover and he's a defender. That's what has allowed him to earn minutes this year. Penn ducks under, makes a nice move and gets his second basket. 